Hi everybody, welcome back to Brailsford Family Homestead. I'm Darcy. I'm gonna do another episode of What's for Dinner tonight. Um, I haven't really named this recipe, though I've made it for a number of years, so maybe I'll just call it Summer Skillet because in the summer, there's an abundance of squash and this is going to use up some squash. So what you'll need is any type of squash you, summer squash that you have with zucchini, um, crook neck squash, whatever, some sausage or ground pork and sausage seasoning, garlic, salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning and rice. I've already got my rice going in my Instapot. Easiest way, hands down to make rice. I mean, I've used rice cookers. I know how to make it on a pot. But if you, you're gonna make the rice, you just need, if you're doing two cups, you do two cups of rinsed rice, two cups of water, four minutes in the Instant Pot on pressure cook, natural release, perfect every single time. So I'm gonna um, start cutting up my ingredients. Oh, we also need an onion if I didn't say that. <laughs> so let's get started. This recipe is very forgiving as far as amounts. You really are gonna just put what looks good to you. So it, it is pretty easy. Um, you know, if you want a little bit more or less squash, I am going to be using one pound of ground pork from the pork, the pigs that we raised. You could use beef. I never have though. Um, I got all of my pork background, um, without seasoning. So I am going to add a, a generous amount of salt, pepper, and sage, and a little bit of, um, hot pepper. I think that I'm going to use the ground jalapeno chili powder that I made. If you want to know about chili versus chile powder, <laughs> make sure you watch the video that I'll link uh, up in the corner or at the end. So I'm just going to, this is a zucchini from my garden. I'm just going to cut it into like bite-sized pieces. So, you know, little triangles. I don't want it to be too thin so that it's like complete mush <laughs> or cooks down too fast. I like to use zucchinis that are about this size. They just, they have the ba best texture for things like this for me. Um, the ones that are really big, I just prefer to like shred to make zucchini bread or muffins or something like that. Also have a Golden Delight zucchini in my garden. But you know, you definitely can use the big ones if that's what you got. Because you know, we've if you've grown zucchini before, you know that it is very easy to for a zucchini to go from about ready to pick to whoa, it's the size of a small child. <laughs> so, I didn't plant any zucchini in the spring. I planted it in July, so I'm just now um, I'm just now harvesting mine. And I don't have any squash bugs, so that's nice too. I, I, I've never had them on my squash before because I always grow them later instead of in the spring. I also have a yellow squash, crookneck squash, whatever, what do you call these? I did actually buy this, this is an organic one, at the store just because I haven't had any, I didn't grow any of these. I enjoy putting these in this dish. I like the taste of them. Having a yellow zucchini already did bring some other color, but I'll do that. And it looks like this will probably be enough for the amount that I'm going to make, but it's fast enough to cut up that, you know, if you're at the point where you're adding it and you're like, oh no, I need more. It's, it's easy to add, but as you can see, that's a, that's a good generous, what, four cups at least. Yeah, about four cups. So if you need a recipe, go ahead and have four really generous cups <laughs> of squash. 
just put this to the side here. I'm going to dice up my onion just because the people in my house don't necessarily appreciate onions all that much, or at least they don't think they do. And they definitely don't like them when they're in slices. So I dice my onions for everything. And this is here where you could you know, be free to use more. If you really like onions, then by all means, add extra ones. <laughs> watching those zucchinis grow in my garden just waiting <laughs> to make this because I refused to buy a zucchini when I had some coming up okay so now they have those dice uh, if you don't have garlic already minced and in a jar I can link a video where I did that uh, then you're gonna probably want about a teaspoon or so of minced garlic so a couple cloves I'm going to turn the skillet on so we can start browning this pork all right, got all of my things over here at the stove and I've got a cast iron skillet preheated um, and we're just going to start browning that pork. I'll turn you down here. Put all those little pieces out. I sing the praises of this thing every time I cook something with ground meat, but this chopper thing, links in the description, wherever, big box stores, I think I'll have them now. It just it makes such a difference. Um, if you're buying already seasoned, pork, like sausage, um, really all of them will be really delicious. The Italian, the hot, um, salt, pepper, sage. Uh, well, I guess not all. I wouldn't use breakfast sausage. This is still browning. Did add some salt. I'm going to add some more. Go ahead and add onions. You could add them at the beginning with the pork when you first add them in too. If that makes it easier for you. I've done it both ways. And when this pork is done I will taste it to just to see if I need to add any more seasoning since I am using ground pork and that was not seasoned already. Okay, we've got the pork browned. Let's give a little taste here. That tastes really good. Put just a little bit more pepper. about 
yay, not garlic. Well, you know, a little bit more than that. <laughs> going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. That's to be about a teaspoon and a half or so. Yep. Now I have not added any liquid to this and you really should not need to. Um, if you do add just a little bit, do it slow because as these squash begin to cook, they're going to release a lot of liquid and you don't want it to be like a, uh, a soupy mess. Okay, so we've got that stirred around a little bit. I'm going to turn this down to uh, medium low. I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to allow the, instead of having the sides totally covered, get a little steam come out there. And we're going to let that go until the zucchini is tender. All right, let's give this a look. See all the juices in there? And I didn't add any water or anything. It's just the liquid that's released from the squash, which will taste good on the rice. The fork goes easily through here, but it's not mushy. So that is good. Get that off of the heat. I'm going to plate some of this up and we'll give it a taste. So actually, i give it a little bit of a taste right now so I can taste, test for salt. skin. Let's get it plated up. All right, I've got some of this plated up here. Delicious. I'll give it a taste. Mm. It's really good and a great way to use up your squash or maybe your neighbor's squash if they grew squash and they're leaving it at your door. Thanks for coming with me for this episode of What's for Dinner. Let me know if you're liking them, if you'd like to see some other recipes. If you're liking these videos, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I appreciate it. And until next time, God bless. Mm -hmm.